Hey everybody, my name is Sergio Guy and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Here we are back in the Deep Roads. And we're gonna push in a bit further today. It's been a little bit since I last played. I want to speak about that really, really briefly. I feel like I have to add a PSA at the start of every single session. And maybe I do, but what the hell. Um, I want to just apologize for the, the recent gap in uploads again. Well, not so much apologize and more explain. The issues which were keeping me away from YouTube have not resolved yet. But uh, I think what was happening was I was in this mindset of, okay, I'm not returning. Oh yeah, I gave a, I gave Blackwall an amulet of power and I really don't care what he uses it for. Um, but sh shield wall, uh, what about shield bash? Do you have an upgrade for, can I move down please? Thank you, jeez. Um, okay, yeah, I like that actually, we'll do we'll use that upgrade. Uh, I was in the mindset at the time of like, okay, when I'm back, I'm back and I can upload consistently again and or at least very nearly consistently and ironically because I was waiting for like a clear runway like that, it was actually keeping me away uh, for even longer. So I will, I'm still short on time to do this sort of thing, uh, so expect uploads in bursts and then potentially fairly lengthy gaps between them, uh, but I'm hoping to hopefully make those bursts more frequent. Uh, so let's, let's carry on. I know it's frustrating, especially for a longer game like this that I'm making such slow progress, but it's, it's the best I can do. Guys, this is just my hobby, you know? Right, uh, so we got some uh, power cost. Oh, oh, an Inquisition has discovered an interesting artifact halfway down the ruins of Hadron Taig. A construction team could build a bridge that grants access to the large monument in the center of the cavern. Excellent, I thought that would be a jumping puzzle. Um, this stuff here, which is uh, primarily for flavor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. Hmm. No, forces seem to make the most sense to me here. As it reloads the area, are we going to get a wee cutscene? Nope. The construction team has completed a bridge halfway down the ruins of Hadron Tag that will allow the Inquisition large monument in the center of the cavern. And similarly, Hadron Tag Upper Bridge identified a location at the entrance to Hadron Tag that is ripe for exploration and recovery effort efforts. A construction team could build a bridge that grants access to several dwarven ruins at the top of the tag. That's really good. Um, yeah, no, just, just do it. This is their turf. You can't keep it secret from them forever. We just need to hold out for long enough that the construction team can do it. Uh, this is good because I seem to remember that bridge may well lead to like a camp down there, which could be really handy. So without any further ado, uh, because I've I've sold a whole bunch of stuff, uh, we're, we're very good on inventory space now. And let's boogie downwards. Now we've got a little bit of walking to do, obviously. Let's just see where things take us today. Nothing's really changed since the last time. I, I need to refresh my memory of kind of like where I'm going. I mean, can I use this gap? No, because it pauses it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, which for the most part is very useful that it pauses it, but still. Do you know, I've always had a bit of a, a soft spot for those games which don't pause when you check your map. Like a specific pause function is great, but like, okay, say for example, my ideal in this case would be hit escape, you get save, load, etc, etc, that pauses the game. But when you want to do stuff like check your journal or check your map, um, not pausing when that happens encourages you to find a safe spot to plan or review your notes or something like that. And I think that's just good for immersion. Um, I'm not sure it would work too well in a game like this because it's, it's very obvious when you are when you are or aren't in combat. And I think that applies the same in Dragon Age in general, but I don't know, they, they did it in System Shock 2, a game which I've never played actually, but I've heard about. Um, they did it in System Shock 2 to emphasize like the vulnerability and the horror, and I think that stuff works really well. But also just in terms of less horror and more tactical exploration or something like that, or just staying, staying safe in a hostile wilderness. I can see that sort of thing working very well in Fallout or something like that. Ah, sorry, I'm, we'll need to check my phone now and then. Uh, just to uh, date this episode somewhat, uh, the coronavirus is rising in the UK, um, which is, is fine as far as pandemics go. And uh, I'm just, I need to keep uh, looking at my phone now and then uh, in case, because some friends of mine are potentially ill with it, so I just need to keep updated, that's all. Sorry. 
ruining your escapism. I know that a lot of you will not like that topic and be a little uncomfortable with it. I know I know a few people like that. Uh, and it's quite understandable. So let's just move on and talk about video games. So we're heading through to Hydrant Tag. Let's have a, a check actually of my Deep Roads journal. So we got that. Um, established camps, cool. Sacrificial gates. Uh, I've opened the first, second, third, and eighth gate. Um, only if you open with bloodstained ancient gears. Valtus stone senses leading her in other directions, but there must be something important behind those gates. Somebody took the trouble to lock them. And then that crazed dwarf's journal, uh, who is drinking or experimenting with delirium, is also a concern. Yes, indeed it is. To the quietness of the deep roads. Hmm. Allowing a second for the atmosphere to sink in. In the cave, Julian, we hear like the, these these lead bangs or tremors and stuff, which is presumably these titans or leviathans. I actually forget exactly what they're called. I think it's titans moving against it. And who knows, that might turn out not to be the case at all. That's very much just a... something from a... a foe we are familiar with. Yeah, I explored this place all pretty pretty thoroughly, didn't I? Which actually, sorry, I'm gonna get some background noise just for a second because uh, I'm getting some glare on my screen, so I've got my blend right next to me. Just gonna wind that down. The neighbors will think I'm touching myself, but in actuality, I'm playing video games. <laughs> oh god, that that scared me. I gotta touch myself to cheer myself up now. God. Hmm. Well, now we see that the bridges have indeed been made. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay, so these runes up here. Now, where's the other one? As down here in that middle bridge, yes, I remember that. I remember that. Well, let's um, we got places to explore further down, but let's let's go here first. You know, there's a there's a a waypoint there. Um, got. Are they stairs or not, Marcus? Make up your damn mind. Can I? It's like a map icon. Can I fast travel to here? I can. Oh, I don't need to do the walk anymore. That's excellent. That's excellent. I like that they've included stuff like this. It, it gives a real feel of um, progression. Now, which way should I explore first? We got that over there. And I know there's a camp somewhere, but I forget exactly where it is. I think it was like this direction. So let's, uh, we've only just started. Let's explore it over this way first. And if this looks like it's gonna go on a little bit, we may backtrack and go left instead. Cause I, I'd, ra I'd rather fill out the dead ends. Yeah, this large monument. Fantastico. Well worth eight power. Ain't hoarding that stuff for nothing. Okay. Ah, good. Ancient gear. Excellent. Store openable? No. I do love the, the aesthetic of these lava lights. I think those are some really great aesthetic design. Just a bit of loot here. Oh, a lovely bedroom as well. Right, I'm not going to take most of this stuff, but I'm going to take this ice bowl. Hmm. The Nug King. All praise the Nug King. Salt, sate his appetite with cheese. Older is better. Why is this here? Perhaps there's a use for it. Perhaps there's not. Cool. Being selective. I'm doing actually quite well for money and stuff like that these days, so I don't need to worry too much about um uh, getting all the the inventory so that I can I can sell it. I mean, there's something to be said for me just clicking on it and then immediately putting it into valuables so I can sell it later, but I'd rather extend my exploration time, quite frankly. Okay, this is good. And knowing this place is probably a couple of spots I could drop down. Yeah, there we see kind of like roughly right below us is where we got to. Whoa. Last time. Hello, my bae. Where are they now? Oh, I think I killed one with that. That was cool. That's 
saw, I thought I started hearing some disturbing noises. Hmm. There's kind of a structure in there which maybe looks like a tomb of some kind. So maybe they're... Maybe... Th ah, there they are. And you were still hearing that noise. There we go. Nothing too leery. Anyway, spots to drop down. I mean, no, it's not looking like it, honestly. It looks like a bit of a suicide fall. I think if I popped a barrier and made the fall, I could probably make it, uh, as long as my barrier would last long enough to, you know, literally cover the time that it would take me to fall. Yeah, this stuff's cool. Makes me feel like we're, we're making progress on very well-constructed, albeit wooden, bridges. Using the very modern keystone technology in order to keep things safe. I meant to search and then I accidentally hit jump, so I jumped on a platform suspended several hundred feet into the air over a chasm. In summary, just weed. Uh, install gears in the fourth gate, so we fired the fourth gate. That's excellent. And I feel like we are probably okay. Man, it really doesn't do a great job of saying how much you're using up or like how much inventory I have, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's lazy. Or I'm lazy for not properly searching through my inventory, but in fairness to me, the game has let me down on that occasion so many times I've literally given up. Nice. Whoa, look at that. In look at that influence buff I just got. Was that just the updating? I mean, that, that couldn't have been half a level for finding a single bloodstained gear, right? And get those new perks. Maybe I'll increase my inventory size. That might be a good idea. I've been kind of shying away from that um, in the past. Maybe there's no need for me to do that. Oh, well, there's a bad guy in here, apparently. Quick save. Ooh, goodness me. It's a new Missouri. One of those notoriously hard to target emissaries. You can only target their knees. Up. He's a bad boy because he's bad. He's bad. And that barrier done. He does freeze this one. It's ironic because I don't think the last one did. I just breaks out of it really quickly. All right, well, let me get a barrier on some folks, especially who are gathered around there. Seems a little quiet today. I think that's fine though. I think it's turning up fine in the capture. I think I just, I think I deliberately turned it down last time because uh, I heard myself in my audio. I was shouting over the, <laughs> I was shouting over the game at times. But I think it could stand to be just a little louder. Uh oh, uh oh, I can fix that. Can somebody do the rest, please? Cassandra, don't you have a thing for this? No, you're looking a bit. Chilly. I right, might as well get the rest off. I love how that works so well. Bop. 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 In. Uh, come on. Boop. And then boop. And then out. Whoa, I almost went the wrong way. Put it into the wall, but I think we got this. Put it together and what have you got? Bippity boppity, bippity boppity, bippity boppity boo. Bippity boo. I did it. Huzzah, we have claimed. Bunch of artifacts. Whoa, got a whole bunch of stuff there. Nice. Do you know that's basic, but is actually also still kind of nice. I'll take it anyway, just in case it's useful to somebody. You know, Blackwall um, will be able to get some new armor. Oh, nice. Blackwall can get himself some new armor when he levels up next, so look forward to that, everybody. I know we've all been waiting for Blackwall to get even more armor. There's a mug of shit in there. Well, hopefully it's not a mug of shit, but let's let the dwarves be the judge of that. A rune is attached on the side opposite. It reads a Bodan and Sun's quality wears and enchantments. A simple name, but yet craftsmen very highly uh, prized in, in Orzammar, especially when they know their stuff. 
when a mug relies solely on the simple name of their company and their family, no less, to sell their own products, then that's probably a very, very fine mug. Unfortunately, it looks like this is a dead end up here as opposed to the route down to the camp I was hoping it would be. Uh, I'm going to save and we're going to... <sighs> like, well, hog in the glory here. Okay. Because, um... A little nervous. But dropping has been a part of this DLC so far. Quite heavily, in fact. So just be careful. Doing okay. Holding in. But Ah, my cat has begun her meowing. You know, I was off uh, work yesterday. Shit! Oh, that was weird. I get the impression I'm not meant to be here. <laughs> I was off work yesterday. Um, for, you know ostensibly to work on some personal stuff, but in reality I was doing gaming. <laughs> uh, and she slept the whole day. The whole damn day. I think partly the reason for that would be though that I was uh, not speaking at my computer and I think she gets a little wound up as if I'm speaking to her. Oh, that's interesting. It's a supply cache though. I don't need it though. I suppose there's no harm in getting it. Oh, nice. Meh. Meh. Uh, right. Now, before I go that way, have I taken a wrong turn? I like again, I like also how, um, like there are paths and stuff like that throughout this uh, whole map, but a lot of it is just, yeah, jump, work it out. Yeah, there we go, we made it. And check this other route properly first. Um, I wish that I could, uh, cause that's there and the camp is, is that way. But looking at it, there is, there's no way, is there? Oh, well, I mean, there's a, there's a route down there. But I can't do it without, mm. pause. I mean, it looks like I can land down there, but that really is the end of it. Uh, the camp is that direction somewhere. Or maybe it's actually on my same level. Maybe I should look like over there. Hmm. Well, I think it's clear this is not the way. I think it's clear this is not the way. That's bats. We are yet to be attacked by bats in the Dragon Age game. That was Darkspawn. <laughs> We are definitely have been attacked by Darkspawn in the course of the game. <laughs> uh, uh, I already looted that. And Spy Cash. I mean, why not? It's not like I'm going to come back this way. I'm posture over this direction. There are paths and roads, but a lot of it is making your own path. Finding your own path gives it this sense of exploration, discovery, like this Legion of the Dead member. With nary a note or anything, some people don't leave notes when they go. Especially, I mean, Legion of the Dead members to accept their death in advance. Okay, my is graduated from meowing to tearing back and forth across the doorway like a Benny Hill or Scooby-Doo movie. Whoop. Guys. <laughs> Ooh, there's another spy cache. Why are they so often here? No way I'd be burning through my shit that fast. Ah, nice. Gear. Shalakadoola, michikaboola, bippity boppity boo. Put it together and what have you got? Bippity boppity boo. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. I panicked. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Oh. Wait, hang on. Yes. Saved it. 
It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bippity boppity boo. Now Salica do la means a mitika boo la roo. But the thing about Bob that does the job is bippity boppity boo. Mitika do da bitchika boo da 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 I wonder what I'll title this episode. <laughs> okay. What the fuck, the fuck am I fucking going? I really don't think I'm going anywhere. Maybe the way that Marcus fa- the Marcus! <laughs> What a strange lemming style of uh, exploration. <laughs> Alright, we need to find a way down to solid ground again. So, I think the best way is probably the way that Marcus originally divined. Bob dope. Here we go. Okie dokie, thank you game. Oh shit. And there we go. Go back on solid ground. I think I even recognize this place. I mean, I recognized this place long ago, but I recognize the specific corner. And here we are. So, uh, just over here. I mean, this place is like winding enough that I'm, I'm fairly, I'm fairly made peace with the fact that I'm not going to find everything. Um, so you know, relax. But at the same time, it's fun. The exploration that I am doing is fun. And that was, uh, that was fun in and of itself. I think I caught everything up there, but uh, it's sort of hard to see. So we need to head further into here. I'm also glad that the enemies don't spawn. I get, again, it gives that sense of, um, A, it'd be tedious. I mean, apart from anything else, it's probably the most important thing and maybe the primary reason that they decided to, uh, to do it this way. But also gives the sense of uh, accomplishment, like you're... Like you're achieving... Uh, the... You're conquering a realm. Do you hear that? Maya? you hear that in the background? There she is. Maya, come here. Hello, darling. Usually hear me with this cat when I'm yelling at her. I'll go back to ignoring her in just a second. She's a bit of an attention fix. She's like, you're not usually home in two days in a row. Do you have coronavirus? <laughs> No, I don't think I do anyway. Um. Oh, I'm like that guy who's like, I'm not worried about coronavirus. Have you heard about coronavirus though? <laughs> just keep bringing it up. Sorry, sorry. I, just for the sake of you guys, I shouldn't be talking too much about that. What's down there? It's on the other side of that. Maybe a faster way, but let's, uh, let's take the actual route this direction, shall we? Now, I remember that cave, and I think I explored everywhere in there. Yeah, I didn't. It's a pretty simple little system. And let's save properly, because we are now entering new territory. And no, it is not yet time for a new episode. Anything up there that's worth, uh... Nope, I, I don't think so. I remember I was getting towards the end of it last time, though, so I'm glad to be coming in here relatively fresh, and I can explore these brand new areas. Now, I think I have been in here, but I just need to remind myself of what is in here. And you know what, I'm actually going to, um, hang on. So you guys can see the thing minimized just a second there. But I'm going to turn it up just a tad, because uh, I think it's quiet enough that I'm not feeling particularly immersed. Uh, so let's do that. You guys probably hear that. Apologies. Whoops. Oh, no, I opened my sound settings. Ah, no, I went back to Dragon Age. Volume mixer. Uh, yeah, God, this is really... Sit down quite quietly. How is it now? Okay, that's a little bit better. I just need to remember not to yell over my own uh, my own volume. That's a bit more press, and you just gotta crank it down just a little bit more. <laughs> there. Oh. Yes, of course I do recognize this. All right, heading away. Uh, so we found the fourth door, but not the fifth, sixth, or seventh yet. Which makes me... Which does make me feel like I missed something, but it's relatively close to... Well, not only the camp, but a fast travel spot. She is really going crazy. Hopefully she's doing that cat thing where she's just tiring herself out. This big open area here. Wow. Look, we can see our stuff in the distance. That's so cool. Alright, so this is the bridge that we fixed. Aha! Uh -huh. 
explore! Cassandra! <laughs> You're not Cassandra. But you'll do. Get into... Whoa. Let's not question that for too long. <laughs> Cassandra, you drive. Clearly I'm drunk. Alright, so we got this over here, and then there was this over here. This holy crap, terrifying little, uh, alcove. Ah, Marcus is back. Good. See? Marcus leads. Cassandra stands in when Marcus fucks it up. So I didn't go this way. Well, let's explore this way first then, shall we? Ah, Brandon's custom mix. The mug bears the inscription, five minutes here is 15 minutes there. Interesting. Oh, so this goes on. Something quite interesting too. More gears. Uh, nothing much around there. Nope. This way? Might be something down there. You're always searching for the next interesting thing down here. That's what I love about DLC. I mean, I know it's overdone and it's extortionate to a certain extent about games, but uh, they always, not always, the good ones really do have this feeling of just extra polish and extra thought that went into them. Usually me unique mechanics or a unique atmosphere, a unique feeling. Um, oh, there's an ogre over there, look. See that? Ah. In this case, not much in the way of new mechanics, um, but like an expansion on older mechanics. I mean, for quite a fighty, non-cutscene heavy thing, we've got a couple of extra characters. Oh, I actually read um, some codexes about Ren and uh, Vita. Vita? I think that's her name. Um, and I'm not going to reread those because, you know, codexes. I want to keep keep myself moving a little bit here. Jeez. I just hear that. She's bolting from one end of the hallway to another. Um... Yeah, and it basically just said that um, Vita's one, the summary was that uh, her family sometimes feel like they've lost her already because she spends so much time with the Legion of the Dead out here in the dangerous deep roads. Uh, and a little bit about how she sort of always wanted to be a shaper when she was growing up. and She's got people back home, basically. And Ren, uh, who seems a very kind of commander of the people, if you like, uh, she, he ordered a mass of ale for his men. Um, to the extent that his second in command says, we do not need this much ale. It's like, fine, cut it down by half, but we're getting the good stuff. And after a bit of banter with his uh, with his subordinates. So both very likable and uh, you know, Ren's investment, obviously his men, who he seems to treat a bit like family. And Vita has an actual family uh, back. Well, you say actual, a blood family, if you like. Hydrant, huh? Uh, this lonely podium is carved from a stone pillar reaching up in the darkness. From the inscription, Paragon Hydron's remains are entombed here under a massive stone likeness of the legendary dwarf. At this vantage point, it is hard to appreciate the scope of the tribute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Hmm. Oh, cool. Holy crap, so much Bianca shit down here, Varric. Oh, I also did have the option of, um, changing my party, and I did think about it. But I don't know, I'm just not particularly motivated to do so. I'm curious to what Iron Bull and Dorian will- Ah! Blackwall trying to kill me! Oh! <laughs> I knew he was a bad one. Back off, Tom. Whew. Anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, there's his body. Yeah, just, um, the characters talk so little in it. God damn it. All right, expect that to happen a lot. Sorry if I'm clipping the mic. I'm definitely clipping the mic. <laughs> it's genuine just gut reaction to this place. I don't like falling down high places. I'm one of those people in video games who gets, like, the tummies when, uh, when I do, a, like, a big fall. I go, Aah! and then the fall goes on for too long, and they're kind of like, oh, it's not real. <laughs> So anyway, well, this is fun. A little shoot procession. Yeah, oh, is she coming after me, Blackwall? There. 
Ah, I forgot about our final two. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? I was talking about cats. Oh yes, um, just Ren and Vita. Yeah, they both ha they both are likable with reasons to want to keep them alive, which makes me think uh, they might, you know, be endangered eventually. But they've certainly done a good job of endearing me to these characters. That's a hundred percent for sure. Let's uh do a little bit of prospecting around here. Don't want to explore too much further into the established pathways without making a few of my own. And all the screaming that implies. Uh, see, that looks interesting. Where's the camp from here? Uh, it's still all the way across the cavern. Can't see it from... I think I'm facing it directly there. And that actually kind of looks like it might lead to a similar spot, but look at those forges over there. God, the journal is having a field day. It's having so hard time with keeping up with all this progress I'm making. All right, well, where's our, my last fast travel point? It's not here, unfortunately. It would be at the top of Hadron Tig, but it's not a huge deal for me to have to make that journey. No, I should be able to do it very quickly. Well, you know, we know at the very least with the roads here, we can come back from there if we need to. So let's take the main pathway first and see what happens. Bit of spindle weed here. Fuckity fuckity park. Yes. Okie dokie. It's a shriek as well. Uh, oh, I mean, power bomb the caster, you say? Maybe power bomb the caster or two. This is one of those non shielded emissaries, too, so. Uh, Cassandra. Yeah, I need to get in there. It's kind of blocked by that big bit of rubble, though, which is kind of um, unfortunate. I have two bars of this stuff. I should maybe think about using it. However. Uh, whilst his barrier is up, maybe I need to... Let's see, where is everything at the moment? We got a few guys down there. I'm just gonna pop in. Yeah, I managed to get a couple of them on the way. Alright, so now I'm back here. I can go mano a mano with this guy. Oh, I fucking barriered him. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, there we go. I knew it wouldn't be all that. Ow, ow, ow. Auto attack. I'm liking that new uh, chill thing, actually. It's kind of fun. When it comes back in a second, I shall show you why. Nobody said that shrieks aren't fun. We good? Good job, guys. I'd give you a solid C minus because I did most of the work. Also, we got Ren and Vita here as a support aids in combat. And I'm minusing a grade from each of you because of it. You shouldn't need the help. Well, okay. Uh, well, we've made a little bit of progress and now it's been about half an hour. So I think now is probably a good time to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the next one, door. See you then. <laughs>